What is the catch to this miraculous poly replacement therapy that I've now discovered? What is the catch? Is there no problem with it at all? Does it truly last for a thousand years without any damage occurring whatsoever? I think what's going to happen though is that this it started shining again. It started shining. And I wasn't sure why. And then I started seeing up here, there was a shine appearing. And then I was in the shower and I was just running my hands through my hair, just washing my hair. I was realizing all these V loops are coming out in my fingers. So I think the catch is the hairs fall out occasionally. Whereas a knot is hard to tug out, right? But a V loop, you pull one hair, just say it's a a four inch long hair, and if you pull that out, you've now got an eight inch long hair. And so you've got eight inch long Vs just sitting on your shoulders and stuff. Say, hey, how are you going? What's up on your shoulder? Oh, you must have just hugged a woman or something. Don't worry about it. Try not to let that ever happen again, by the way. I think that's what's happening. I think it's just, you're running your fingers through your hair, you're on a brush through your hair, you're, you're washing your hair in the shower, and you're doing that sort of stuff, and the Vs are just, de-threading themselves easily and this is where the fragility of these systems is most pronounced not in the stretching of the lace and so on in that's right in the poly and that shine that appears at the front is because those hairs are very easy to pull out that's the part you're playing with all the time you're doing that you're doing that you're doing that all right so that's why there's going to be more of a shine just revealing itself. It'll just keep going back and back and back and back. And so you've got to be kind of delicate with it. I'm up to day five, I think, of this piece. So this is a bleached piece that I put on in a few videos ago. And it seems like the only maintenance I've had to do is just squeeze out a bit of this glue as it starts reaching the surface and getting a bit dirty once in a while. And as I was doing this, that's when I discovered Hang on, there's a bit of a chunk of hair missing there. That wasn't there before. And I had to cut out a bit of plastic that was sitting down there. And I thought, there were hairs there before, what happened? And so I cut it off thinking, oh well, I mustn't have noticed. But I think what's happened is, they are de-threading themselves with every shower and everything that I have, with the more fragile ones being at the front, which means that front hairline can escape. The other thing is back here, where the hair joins to natural hair, you probably won't see a very good example of it right now because I've brushed it back because I'm going to go out and go hunting. So I think that's what the catch is. We thought there was no catch. We thought it was perfect. I now speak about myself in the royal we. What do I mean? Most people probably have used poly, but that most people have used poly have used it more than four, five days. But a lot of people who tried poly were probably like, what the fuck's going on with these V loops? And they didn't realize they could just bleach the front there, which solves the problem. And I say it still solves the problem, but the additional thing you've got to watch out for is making sure that you don't tug on the hairs because they're just kind of resting in there. So you pull it and it just slips out. Whereas a, a knot will not come out by pulling it. You'll have to break the hair before it comes out, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so that's the fragility of these systems. More so than, well, I don't know yet. I haven't had to try to remove the poly and clean it and then put it back on again. Um, I don't think that the plastic is decomposing or anything. Here's, here's a hair that is sticking out a bit too much on its own and I want, I'm, my instinct is to just get rid of it. Can you see that one here? Let's see what happens when I pull on it. Okay, it's in its feed little holder. And now, you see, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And now, that would freak people out if they saw you pull a hair that long out of hair that short, you know what I mean? And if you're constantly doing it, oh, nothing, just fixing my hair up. What's all that hair shedding out of your hands? So 
So that's the cost of using this fruit V-loop system in a poly. I don't recommend knotted system in a poly unless it was a single knot. Somebody who commented said there are multiple hairs knotted together and there's also single hairs that are knotted in and I would say they're preferable. I think I've started trying to just have a liquid diet over the last few days. My acting coach said, you're not going to make it in this industry if you don't lose weight. You've got a lot of fat on that chin and on that gut and on that ass. Get rid of that and you're not going to get any work. So I should probably take you on that journey with me. Losing weight is definitely easier than getting a full head of hair after you've gone completely bald, isn't it? <coughs> so if you've solved that one, Exercise and eating, they're not problems, they're just choices. And I'm going to do it in such a way that it doesn't hurt. Right now, for example, I'm going to go get smashed on alcohol. It's Saturday night, it's the first time I've been out in a long time. My cousin, who's a piker, and he's known for just disappearing where you go. No point looking for him, he spent the whole night looking, he's just, he just carelessly went home without telling anybody. So that's who I'm going out with me and him tonight. Hopefully he will be fun and not worry too much about everything. He's got a full head of hair, but he's got curly hair like I used to have when I had a full head of hair. And my hair's gonna be nice and straight and, well, I think it, would ser it will serve me well to be well-dressed with a nice, Full head of hair, but straight. Maybe a little bit of tan here. I'm gonna do this, ready? Very slight. Barely visible. Could make a difference in a, in a fun room if we ever get into the lights. But now this shine is going to piss me off a bit. This poly shine. There's something I've got here from the makeup world called Shine Killer. I'll try this out right now. I doubt it'll work. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like. Well, at a glance, it actually seems to work. But I don't know if that's because I rubbed this stuff on or if it's because I just rubbed my finger on it all. How could that possibly have done that? Well, that seems to have actually somehow worked. Even though it was a shiny thing that I stuck on my finger. How the fuck did that happen? I don't know. That's amazing. Maybe we should take a note of whatever the fuck this sh stuff is. Shine Killer. Here, look that up. Eliminates the look of excess oil and shine leaving skin looking matte and fresh all day. Can be worn over, under or without makeup. It, I bought it off the shelf like this. But I can't have it. It has no barcode. Maybe I bought it inside a box and I unwrap the box but I don't remember doing that so I guess NYX Cosmetics Los Angeles yeah you see that I can't focus any better than that with this iPhone it's just it doesn't obey yeah shine killer well it's fucking worked <laughs> 